So can you explain to people exactly what an Uncle Tom is? And Uncle Tom is somebody who is a sellout, uh, who has turned his back on his own people. And it comes from the book by Harriet Beecher Stowe called Uncle Tom's Cabin, uh, which came out before the Civil War and which Abraham Lincoln allegedly uh, points to as a cause of the Civil, uh, of the Civil War because people in the, in the North, in, in a very graphic way, were described the horrors of slavery and they hadn't really thought about it apparently for, the, for that time. So it helped to, to ignite the debate over, over slavery. Now the irony is that Uncle Tom in the book was actually a hero and he was based on a real life man named Josiah Henson. The reason we know that is because when Harriet Beecher Stowe was accused of making all this stuff up, she produced all the people after whom she patterned all these characters. And Josiah Henson was a slave who left and founded a colony for freed slaves in Canada. He was a hero. He was also a hero in the book because he refused to turn over a slave who had run away and therefore he was killed. So for some reason, the term now becomes a, a term that demeans anybody uh, who believes that, uh, that black people who, anybody who does not think black people are, are victimized, or victims of racism, who don't think black people are oppressed, who are quote, trying to curry favor with the white man, they're dismissed and derided as Uncle Tom, when in fact Uncle Tom was really a hero in the book. It just shows you that most people have never read the book. But that really kind of is not the point, Kevin. The point is it's become a term that's used to shut down conversation. The, probably the most important magazine in the black community for decades has been a magazine called Ebony Magazine comes out once a month. It still comes out, but it's been sold and it doesn't have the same power it once had. But for years, it had a feature called the 100 Most Influential Black Americans. And every year, absent from that list, list was Clarence Thomas. This man is a Supreme Court Justice, not in Ebony Magazine as one of the most influential Black Americans. Thomas Sowell published over 40, I'm sorry, 56 books now. I've lost count. Uh, and David Mamet, the playwright in Hollywood, is called Thomas Sowell America's greatest contemporary philosopher. Most black people don't even know who he is because people like Ebony never mention him in the 100 list of, of, most, of most important black Americans. Also absent from that list is Walter Williams. Walter Williams, to my knowledge, is the only black man to head up an economics department of a non-historically black college. He also had a syndicated column, one of the most widely read uh, uh, English writers, and many black people don't know who he is because magazines like Ebony don't even mention his name. Wow, that's so incredible. So you met, you rattle off a lot of names there. And I, you know, obviously I've seen the project Uncle Tom and seen all of these different successful um, uh, people that are that are just really doing it, just knocking the top off it in their life. What was your hope for and the inspiration behind putting this film together? Well, the inspiration was the director, whose name is Justin Malone. And I and I and interestingly, Justin Malone is white. He came to me about two and a half years ago and told me he had an idea to do a film called Uncle Tom. And I said, what's it about? And he said, well, I was inspired because when Herman Cain ran for president, I saw the way he was interviewed versus the way other Republican candidates were interviewed. And I could tell there was something particularly annoying to people about the fact that he was a black conservative. And I thought that was a very inter interesting thing to, to approach. And I said, well, do you have any money to make the film? He goes, no. How much is it going to cost? He said, about half a million. How much have you raised? He said, zero. I said, let me tell you what. I'll raise the money for you. Let me help you co-write the film and structure the film. Let's get this puppy done. It took us two and a half years and it came out. And the driver of the film, Kevin, is the young man who starts at the beginning of the film. His name is Chad Jackson. You never heard of him. He happened to be a contractor in Dallas, minding his own business, a Democrat who's a Christian. And a fellow Christian approached him and said, because he was criticizing the Republican Party, he said, have you read the party platforms, Republican Party, Democratic Party platform? He said, no. He said, I suggest you read them. Your, your values are far closer to the Republican Party than the Democratic Party. And he read them. And when he read them, he said, wow, I'm a Republican. And it's about the grief he got from friends and family, including his own mother, who thought he had now become part of the problem because he was pointing out the number one problem in the black community is absent fathers and poor schools and the lack of mm. emphasis on education in the home. And when he, when he started saying that kind of stuff, his mother said, you're just saying things they say. My goodness.